What is up, friends? Welcome to my little corner of the internet, and let's get right into the new Pwned content. It's with great pleasure we're taking another look at Pwned, the arena shooter with a twist from the founders of Treyarch. That twist being basically after you kill somebody, you have to do a little victory dance on them called a Pwned without being killed yourself. Now, we're going to be focusing on what is new with Pwned, but if you're just hearing about it, I encourage you to check out my older video. So there's all sorts of stuff going on with Pwned since we last looked at it. Pwn has added a 20 level challenge mode to sharpen your skills. They've also added a practice mode so you can play against different bots, which is actually still a lot of fun. That's what you're seeing footage of right now. You can turn the bots down so they're super easy or crank them up and they're brutal. Something for everybody for sure. Now for the juicy stuff. New map, new character. And this is a big deal. They told us they were going to do this. They made good on their word. That's what you want as a customer buying into early access. The game runs great. It ran great in alpha. So all they have to do now is focus on content, and that's the way it should be. So the new map is called The Pit. It looks awesome. Lots of verticality, like the beta map, and a new character named Vex that looks wild. Vex is a cyber ninja that looks to be super fast, have melee attacks with a sword, and this grapple claw feature, and she literally stomps people's faces in. All this stuff is going to change up the gameplay completely, I'm pretty stoked about it. I like how different it is. Okay, I like the change of direction. So let's have a closer look at Vex's launch video and the launch video for The Pit, which was just announced like less than 24 hours ago. Hey party people, Mini Charge here today to reveal our newest character, Vex. She's a hardcore gamer that got turned into a super assassin by a disaster involving an experimental VR game. Now she's trapped in the video game world, unable to distinguish it from reality. Vex is a melee character that relies on speed and her abilities to dominate. Her primary weapon is a sword dubbed the Cyber Saber. When you lock onto an enemy within range, a circular UI indicator appears around your reticle. With this visible, press the fire button and you will dash to the enemy and strike a deadly blow. When not locked onto an enemy, your Cyber Saber releases a less powerful projectile when you attack. You can use this to detonate mines or hit enemies from a distance. Her movement ability is the deployable teleport beacon called Save Crystal. When used, it deploys a beacon that you can teleport back to by pressing the movement ability button again. Be quick though, because it expires at the end of the cooldown. The Save Crystal can also be damaged or destroyed by enemies. You can use it to escape battles, get behind an enemy in a dogfight, and even while carrying an enemy to pwn in a safer place. Her secondary ability is Phase. It will temporarily reduce the damage you take, make projectiles pass through you, and even enable you to pass through shields. This is useful in heavy gunfire or when you need to slip past enemy defenses to stop opponents. And lastly, we have her primary ability, Grapple Hook. Vex can grapple enemies, friendlies, and even pwns in progress. Grappling an enemy stuns them temporarily as you reel them in to deliver a melee attack. Grappling a friend or a pwn will pull you towards it, and grappling a crawling friend or enemy allows you to automatically carry them. Use Vex's abilities in combination to create new and interesting tactics. Well, that does it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon of new characters, game modes, and more. Looks pretty crazy, right? Now check this out, guys. I do not know how long this is going to last, but the game is on sale for $12.99. Okay, they added all that stuff. Price went down. Great time to hop in and start boning people. You get four maps, five characters, practice mode, challenge mode, and they do have loot crates, but they're just for cosmetics. And this is what they say about that on their Steam page. Pay to win, F that. Winning is up to you. The only thing we sell is stuff for looking good. And I mean, I also know they're steadily working on new content. I know they have Halloween stuff coming out, custom matches coming out, tournament support coming out, all sorts of good stuff. I mean, you're definitely getting your money for $12.99. Now, lastly, guys, I'm going to share their social media links, Twitter, Facebook, 
Discord, all that good stuff. They're always giving away codes. They just had some big giveaways for like a, a gaming computer, a graphics card, a mouse, all sorts of stuff. They're, they're not just giving away stickers and keychains. It's a really good group. The Discord's a good place to be. I mean, at $12.99, it's a no-brainer. And I tell you what, you can run around and drag like a chicken with your head cut off and have a good time. But if you grab some friends, the in-game Discord VoIP works great and talk to each other, support each other, and, and kind of learn the meta and work as a team and strategize and actually put some tactics into the game, opens it up completely. It's a lot more enjoyable, and you'll stomp everybody. But guys, that's it. Please go check out Pwned. I really like it. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I just really like the game and uh, trying to do my part to get the word out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single like, sub, comment, view, all of it. Thank you so much for all of it. I'll see you again soon. You go with me.